Well, I guess it's time to start this journey. Silver Steeler here. And winning image photography. So yeah, we've decided to go down this United States type 7070 journey. And uh, we sort of knew what we were going to get ourselves into. Uh, we've been talking about wanting to do these for a while. We've even been collecting some of the coins ahead of time. But I'm going to do it in sections so I don't bore you, bore you with one long, long, long video. And uh, besides, I still need more of these. And this will be something I will be working on for quite some time. A lot of the community members out there have been posting videos. Spectacular. Jay Parker, Silver Stacker are two of the ones that I follow when it comes to these type sets. Here we are, a brand new one completely empty. This would absolutely kill Steve Rice because he doesn't like to see holes that aren't filled with coins. For me, it doesn't bother me that much, although I do have somewhat of an OCD. I know winning does. <laughs> so anyway, let's show you what we've gotten so far on this little journey. So first up we have, this is gonna be very, very hard, but we have a Trime, and we can't see the date on this thing. So this will be an upgrade, but on this side, you can see how we know it's a Trime. We're unsure whether it's the silver or nickel version. I've dropped it a couple times, yes, on purpose, on the counter, and it sounds like it's got a silver ting to it. So I believe it to be silver. That's the one we're going to put it in. This would be the bronze two cent piece. And again, we don't know what the date is because that side is gone so another upgrade but this is just getting some of these holes filled first very cheaply my lcs guy he always treats me right so then what is this a 1907 indian indian headset 1907 yeah philadelphia oh. Uh, probably nothing spectacular about this one, too. We're just trying to get some of these holes filled. And we got the 1943 Steel Scent. No weedy, of course. And the only year they made them. Very nice. And we have, what is this, just the regular Memorial 2008. Right. 2008 Memorial calls for one of those. Literally just plucked it out of some change. And then what is this one? The 1952 Weedy? No, 1956 uh, 1956 D. D. Very nice shape. Thought I'd put a nice one in there. And then our large scent. Is 1852. It's 1852. You can make that out. My first large scent. Literally just picked it up from my LCS to put it into the book. So I'll be right back showing you them in the book. All right. So we got them in a the book. Put in seven coins into the typeset to start things off with. We got the large scent. We got the weedy. Oh, the Indian head before that, yep. Then the weedy. And we got the steel scent. The regular Lincoln Memorial. We got a two cent, we're unsure of the date. And we got a three piece, a trime, that we believe to be silver. Oh, it almost have to be. Looking at the size of Looking the other ones. Looking at the size one. of the other ones, yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. 
We didn't know that until just now. We were sitting there putting them all together, and we were unsure whether that was a nickel or not. I must not have realized that the size difference. So, yes, it is definitely silver. We just figured that one out. Yeah, this is going to teach me a little bit about some of the older coins, because I just really am more into silver. Not really much of a uh, cent collector, penny collector, nickel penny collector. It's just, you know, something I'm going to get into a little bit more, definitely by filling one of these books. So I'm glad I got it. Everyone that's going to bring this one to a close, remember to like, subscribe, and all those other good things. I'll see you on the next video. Bye, everyone.